the clock ticked steadily as I delved into my work, the pen dancing across the paper with purpose. Yet, the tranquility of the moment shattered abruptly when a distant shout pierced through the air, jolting me from my focus. Before I could even grasp the source of the commotion, a swarm of people surrounded me, their voices blending into an indistinguishable cacophony. My journey into the labyrinth of enigmatic events began when I took Emily as my second wife, a decision that led me to settle in her expansive estate nestled in the serene landscapes of Northern California. The estate boasted of vast tracts of land, adorned with sprawling gardens and lush foliage, creating an idyllic haven just on the outskirts of a quaint, provincial town. Adjacent to our abode stood another imposing structure, almost a mirror image of ours, housing Emily's sister, Millicent. Despite sharing a familial bond, the sisters were strikingly disparate in appearance and temperament. Millicent, tall and statuesque, exuded an aura of dominance, often wielding her influence over those around her, including Emily. My arrival, whisking Emily away from under Millicent's watchful eye, was met with palpable disapproval. Emily, in contrast, possessed a warmth and geniality that endeared her to many. She was of shorter stature, her laughter infectious, her demeanor endearingly unpretentious. Though not conventionally brilliant, Emily's kindness and empathy endeared her to all who crossed her path. The serenity of our lives was disrupted when Emily embarked on an unexpected absence leaving me to navigate the turbulent waters of suspicion and intrigue that swirled in her wake. Millicent, with her piercing gaze and probing inquiries, seemed to harbor doubts regarding Emily's whereabouts, her demeanor an unsettling mixture of concern and scrutiny. It was during one such encounter, Amidst the comforting embrace of nature in the woods behind our estate, that I found myself grappling with the intricacies of our familial dynamics. As I sat beside a babbling brook, the rustling leaves and gentle murmurs of the stream offering solace, my mind wandered to the complexities of our intertwined lives. The contrast between Emily's modest inheritance and Millicent's opulent wealth, the subtle power play between the sisters, all added layers to the mystery that unfolded before me. Days turned into weeks, and the enigmatic occurrences multiplied, each one adding a new layer of intrigue to the narrative. A chance encounter with a portly woman clad in a vivid purple dress set the stage for a series of unsettling events. Her presence seemed to shadow my every move, her gaze unnervingly penetrating, her intentions shrouded in mystery. Suspicion simmered beneath the surface as I found myself drawn into a web of deception and deceit with Millicent orchestrating a grand charade that threatened to unravel the very fabric of our lives. The discovery of forged letters and staged phone calls only served to deepen the chasm of uncertainty, casting doubt upon the authenticity of every interaction. Yet, amidst the chaos and confusion, a glimmer of hope emerged, a beacon of light in the darkness. With each revelation, I found myself inching closer to the truth, piecing together fragments of the puzzle in a desperate bid to unravel the tangled web of lies. As tensions reached a fever pitch, a dramatic confrontation unfolded in the moonlit woods, 
with Millicent's hired detectives digging for evidence of a crime that existed only in the recesses of her imagination. It was a battle of wits and wills, a showdown between truth and deception, with the fate of our family hanging precariously in the balance. In the end, it was not the discovery of a buried secret that brought closure, but rather, the unearthing of buried truths, the realization that sometimes, the greatest mysteries lie not in the shadows of the unknown, but in the depths of our own hearts. And so, as the dust settled and the echoes of the past faded into oblivion, we emerged stronger, united in our resolve to forge a new path forward. For in the crucible of adversity, we discovered the true measure of our strength, the unwavering bond that held us together, even in the darkest of times.